We're having a, a fun hour with Regis Philbin. Regis, um, everybody knows you're a New York institution, but you were recently named a living New York landmark by the New York City Landmark Conservatory. Right. You love this city. I do. What makes it so special to you? Well, you know, there's a certain something here in New York, an energy, I mean, you can't define it, and I know you're, you're thinking maybe that, that that's the right word to use, but there's a certain drive here in New York that uh, it feels like you're really alive here, you know? Mm -hmm. Now, I, I love the Hollywood weather and a lot of sweet people out there, but something about New York just keeps you here. Uh, and it's kept me here all these years, and I'm glad I came back and had the chance to do it. How neat is it that the street that you grew up, Kruger Avenue, yeah. part of it is named Regis Philbin Avenue? Yeah, that's that's uh, that's quite a compliment. It really is, and I'm very grateful for it. Uh, you've uh, you've certainly dealt with a lot of charitable causes: American Heart Association, the Bob Woodruff Foundation for Injured Veterans, the RFK uh, Foundation to end bullying, and I think the New York City's Doe Fund uh, to aid the homeless. Why these groups? Why are they important to you? Well, I think they're important to the city. And I also uh, put uh, some kids through, and I still am, for Cardinal Hayes High School mm -hmm. and Notre Dame University, too. I think education is important. People might not know this. Regis was named because his dad went to Regis High School. Right. And I started to think, what if he'd gone to Stuyvesant? <laughs> you call me Sty. Sty. <laughs> As in Mr. Guy. <laughs> uh, you've been in this business for 50 years, and the amazing thing to me, <clears throat> and I said at the beginning, iconic you are and how great you are on television, but... You relate to young people. I mean, 20-year-olds love you just like 70-year-old people love you. How do you stay current? How do you relate to younger people? Well, it's because uh, of that talk show. In the first segment of the show, you know, we had 15, 20 minutes. And it would be about what is going on. And let's face it, the young crowd has moved in now. I understand that. But still, there's something going on out there all the time. And it will continue. That's the way life is. So, yeah, I, I've stayed current with, with what the trends are. Did you ever imagine that you could be this successful, that you could be this famous and this beloved? Did you ever dream this? Big? Well, I never thought that this was all I was beloved, honestly. Or but you I, are. Well, I... Do you love me? Yeah. <laughs> because you know what? You're, a lot, there are a lot of people on TV that people like, but I think everybody feels like your family. Mm. Well, you know what? I guess it's because in the opening segment I chose not to read some, somebody's news script, but to tell them about my personal life. And I'll tell you what a thrill it was to sit with you this in that Yankee game, game that you, uh, when I threw out the pitch. Yeah. And what a thrill it was to throw the pitch out, stand on the mound, not like Trump, moving halfway down <laughs> the line. You know, I gave him the wide up the whole thing. Right? Had a strike. Abs had a strike. Yep. Thank you very much. Anyway, I love what you do, too. Thank you. Thank and you. I think you're doing a great job here. Thank you. And, and if, if you don't find something that you like, you can come do the 125 games with me. <laughs> oh, I'd, love to, I'd love to be uh, in a couple of those. No kidding. It's a great book. Thank you very How much. How I Got This Way, Regis Philbin. And uh, it's a delight to have you here. First, second time guest. Thank you. My Thank first, you so second much. time guest, everybody. That's Regis Philbin. I'm Michael Kay. And this is Center State. So long, everybody. Bye-bye.